This is by far my favorite Christmas tree I have ever decorated. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lulu. Today I will be showing you guys part two of my Christmas decorate with me. Sorry to interrupt, but make sure you guys go on over and check out part one of my Christmas decorate with me for even more decoration inspo. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I decorated the entire first floor of my house. This year, I went all out. I am so excited to show you guys how it turned out, so let's just jump right into the video. If you would like to see how I decorated my entire first floor, then keep on watching. So to start off, I will be decorating our main Christmas tree in our living room. Decorating this tree is definitely one of my most favorite parts about the Christmas season. This is such a big tree, I love it. But this year, I was even more excited because we are switching it up and doing a New York City themed Christmas tree. For the past few years, we've used white lights on the tree, but this year I knew I wanted to use the colorful ones just to reflect all the beautiful lights you would see in Times Square. I really wanted to change up how we put the ribbon on our tree, Merry Christmas! but honestly, me and my husband were not so sure how we liked it. Are you liking it or you don't like it? Originally, I had imagined putting silver and red stripes down the tree, but then I realized it was giving me candy cane vibes and obviously that's not the goal here. So we ended up just going with the red ribbon and I love the way it turned out. I wanted to go for a bit of a whimsical touch, so I added these shiny silver picks that I got from Walmart this year. I found this taxi cab at Target this year, and I believe it's meant to be a tabletop decor piece, but honestly, I thought it would look so awesome in our tree, and I'm so glad that I went for it. So that's a tip for you guys. You don't always have to look for Christmas ornaments. Growing up, we used to put Christmas cards and candy canes in our tree. You can do so many creative things. Just make sure that whatever you put on your tree is nice and secure. Another fun touch that I added were these Christmas hats. These are actually from the Christmas Spectacular Show in New York City. My husband and I went to see the show a couple of years ago, so these were definitely a special touch. I'm just nervous about adding more things to When you go to Times Square, you're not like, oh cool, you're like, wow. <laughs> this Metro card is actually what inspired me to do a New York City theme. My husband and I were planning a trip to New York for Christmas this year. I'm actually from New York and I have family there that I would have loved to see this holiday season. But unfortunately, with everything going on, we couldn't go. So this tree is honestly my way of feeling a little bit at home. And being that we live in Hawaii, it's kind of nice to pretend that it's cold outside. This I Love New York ornament is from Amazon. And I have to admit, the next two ornaments might just be my favorites. This subway ornament as well as this city bus are from Amazon. And oh my goodness, just look at the details. They are absolutely beautiful. They were a little bit on the pricey side, but honestly, I think they're totally worth it. And of course, when you think of New York, you think of pizza, hot dogs, coffee, and pretzels. So I was so excited that I was able to find all these ornaments at Target this year. gaps I just used plain red ornaments I'm in love with these giant red ones that I found at Walmart this year they remind me of the huge ornaments across from Radio City Music Hall and the big silver ornaments are from Target and to top this tree I just have this silver glitter star that I got a few years ago Our TV stand, I pretty much decorated it as if it were a fireplace. So first I'm placing this colorful lighted garland that I got a few years ago. I also added these LED pillar candles just to add a warm cozy vibe. 
I ended up buying us new stockings this year. I love that these had stripes and our initials on them. And I also bought this paw print stocking holder for my dog Puka. To fill our empty shelves, I placed this mailbox that says letters to Santa and these cute little bottle brush trees. All of the items I mentioned besides the garland are from Target. I found this super affordable table runner at Ross this year and I just went ahead and placed my new Bath & Body Works candle that smells like a Christmas tree. I am in love. And for a little tree, I just added some candy canes. I love adding all the cozy touches to the couch, so I found this green fluffy blanket from TJ Maxx. This home for the holidays pillow from Target was just too appropriate for 2020. I had to get it and I thought it went with the New York theme as well. This white throw blanket is one I already had, but I did pick up this red one from Marshalls this year. And lastly for the couch, I added this merry and bright pillow that I got from the Target dollar spot a couple of years ago and this gray knot pillow from Amazon. Moving on to the dining room, I had a bit of a fail. I originally imagined a candle holder with a bunch of Christmas candles in it and it would look super cozy and elegant, but honestly, I ended up really not liking the way this turned out. I wanted to keep this in the video because this is a huge part of decorating. It's all about trial and error and in this case, it was super late and I know that this was kind of the sign for me to start again the next day, so that's exactly what I did. Decorating has always been so therapeutic for me, so whenever I get frustrated or just can't figure something out, I just need to take a break. So I'm glad I did that because I ended up finding these silver candle holders from Ross and I think they look so beautiful. This sign was actually from Target. It happened to be the last one and I'm so glad I was able to get it because it was super affordable and it looks perfect in our dining room. Moving on to the kitchen, I'm starting off by pouring my Bath & Body Works soap into this adorable gingerbread house soap dispenser. It actually inspired me to do a gingerbread theme in the kitchen this year. So I also picked up this huge ceramic bowl that fits perfectly in our brand new KitchenAid. And of course, I had to light my spiced gingerbread Bath & Body Works candle in here. Walmart also had these adorable measuring cups and spoons that went perfectly with the gingerbread theme. And to fill the empty space, I just placed some festive napkins on there and another bottle brush tree. I wanted to add a bit more height to the decor, so I used this tiny little white Christmas tree that was in the Target dollar spot. And for a pop of color, I added a little red tree skirt that I got a few years ago. On to our entryway table, I added this small Christmas tree that I found at Target. Here I'm just adding some battery operated twinkle lights. I wanted to keep this tree pretty minimal so I just added these mini Christmas ornaments that I got a couple of years ago as well as this tiny star topper. These tiny houses are from the Target dollar spot this year. I thought that they would make the entryway look super cozy. I remembered I had these stocking holders that were left over from last year. I decided to put them here just to make up for the empty space. I finished off this table with a small Bath & Body Works Christmas candle. Now it's time for the powder room. I know I've mentioned Target a ton of times in this video, but almost everything in this bathroom was from Target this year. I definitely went for a home for the holidays theme. I thought these black metal houses were super adorable, especially since they have an LED light in them. And of course, I had to add some festive towels. For a couple of finishing touches, I hung this happy holiday sign and placed this Christmas tree bath rug. I am so 
so happy with how this turned out, but now it is time to decorate one of my favorite places in our entire house, and that is my tea station. But of course, for the holidays, I wanted to transform this into the ultimate hot cocoa bar. So first, I am taking these small jars that I found in the Target dollar spot and filling them with all of the hot cocoa toppings. Next, I'm switching out our mugs for some more festive ones. My advice is to look at places like TJ Maxx and Ross. They always have such adorable mugs for such an affordable price. Now I'm filling up this glass canister that I already had with our favorite hot chocolate mix. My best advice for creating the ultimate hot cocoa bar is to pay attention to the little details. Of course, I wanted to make this as functional as possible by using things that we're definitely gonna need to make hot chocolate, but adding things like paper straws and some festive napkins just add the extra holiday touch. Another piece of advice is to make sure to keep all of the things that you will actually be needing on the top shelves and then on the bottom shelves is where I focus more on the decor. This is also helpful if you have kids or maybe a pet that you do not want to get into all of these treats. I quickly wanted to mention one of my new favorite decor pieces and that is this ceramic bottle that says milk for Santa. I thought that was so adorable and I found that at Walmart this year. For the top of the hot cocoa bar, I got this awesome table runner at Ross this year. And another one of those light up garlands. Of course, every hot cocoa bar needs a sign. Here, I'm just using my light box sign that I got as a gift a few years ago. I love this sign so much, and I love that it kind of gives me a New York City vibe. Since I wanted all the attention to go to the hot cocoa bar, all I did on my desk was just light a Christmas candle and place a tiny bottle brush tree. For any dog parents out there, I know that decorating can sometimes be a little bit thrown off by some of these bright, colorful dog toys, but my best advice is to actually pick up a few Christmas-themed dog toys. This way, whenever they leave them around, they actually match the rest of your house. I know it sounds crazy, and yes, it may or may not be an excuse for me to buy more toys for Puka. But I was so excited to find these Christmas dog toys at Ross and TJ Maxx and I even found some that matched the New York theme. Alright guys, here is a full overview of how our entire first floor is decorated for Christmas. I am so happy with how this came out. I am absolutely in love with this year's Christmas tree. It truly makes me feel so warm and cozy and makes me look forward to being able to go visit family again. As always, please let me know down in the comments what room was your favorite room in this Decorate With Me series. I have to admit the hot cocoa bar ended up being so much better than I even thought it would be, but every single room in my house just truly brings a smile to my face and oh, I just love it so much. I really hope this video gave you guys some Christmas decor inspiration or if you've already decorated, I just hope this video brought you a little bit of holiday cheer. Alright guys, that is all for my Decorate With Me for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed the past two videos. I am so proud of the way the house looks. Honestly, it makes me so happy to wake up every day and see all the lights and the, you know, 10 Christmas trees that I have in the house. 
please let me know down in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing a full Christmas house tour where I just play some really cozy music and show you the entire house completely decorated. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave it a like down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to click on the notifications bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Merry Christmas. Bye guys. Bye.